Hello, this is Divine Sunshine is coming to you with your uh, new thing. Uh, Kathy D has said, you know, you did the uh, Divine Master with the Karmic Feminine, but have you ever thought about reversing it and do it with a Divine Masculine with a, uh, I mean, with a, a Divine Feminine with a Karmic Masculine? I say, oh, okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to and uh, have a conversation with that. So those of you all, especially, I ha do have Divine Masculines on here that's dealing the opposite. Um, just to kind of see what's going on with that. And, and that's an interesting plot to it, twist um, to that. So let me um, see. Let's fire it off in the 5th What's going on in the 5th with the Divine Feminine? And we'll work our way down. Clear. <laughs> in this I mean what's happening well, ooh, Lord have mercy. well okay she is a karmic feminine so let's look and see what's happening with her sorry uh, Fatima love is my lineage and uh, yeah right that's true I, I, I gotta get together it's here uh, Fatima the mother of I love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion first thing off when I see this I see why this um divine feminine is in this common situation because i definitely see that your thing is um to break family lineage some kind of way you might be in some kind of committed um relationship due to uh you trying to clear bloodlines uh that's the first thing that jumped out for this so this is why you in this situation with this um karmic masculine uh, uh divine karmic masculine He's helping you to clear ties, and the same is for him. It's helping him to also clear ties as well, so that my religion is my gratitude. So that means that everything that you do habitually from this point on, whether you're thinking about it or not thinking about it, will come naturally. It'll be a set principles, ideology that's innate within you that's not something that you've got to cook up or intentionally, like purposefully, um, do it and this means from this point on everything else will be very you develop better habits and this is the overall energies what they're dealing with you now by you being in that um relationship how is it showing up in the 3d right now with you in this um divine karmic masculine clear the moon right now in the 3d it's a lot of illusions going on a lot of illusion a lot of duality a lot of double-mindedness that's going on with this um one part of you is really taking introspection about how you are in this relationship uh and it's another part of you is just like hey just forget it this here's is a um uh gospel sign and say here's to life uh you just really like you like toasting it up uh that's what's coming to be and just really um celebrating um some things but at the same time this masculine is really he's almost like a person get off the titty uh this right here he's really is you're nurturing him that's where that family comes in from but it's also a part of you it's like he's not growing up. I'm seeing some immaturity here as well because you really are, you know, just really kind of feeding him um, everything uh, that he needs. And he's just like, you might find yourself like, over oh, like you say, I feel more so the mother than, um, than his partner uh, in this situation. So whatever it is, maybe money-wise, you kind of helping him out financially, things of that nature. And it's causing for... Um, you to feel kind of duality. It's kind of one part of you taking introspection of yourself, and another part of you is saying, "Well, there's some things to celebrate." Or you could also be uh, developing some vices of your own, like addictions, drinking, uh, this type. Because again, it's like um, that's why I pick up with this. It's some. It could be celebrations. It's never different folds. Some of you all are taking introspection. Some of you all are celebrating it. Some of you all are not. Some of them is diving you more deeper into your addictions where you're becoming more in a state of denial about things. Um, this is how it's showing in the 3D. 
Uh, so you really got to move into that energy's understanding to be very aware and very in tune with your intuition and your awareness of uh, this divine feminine with this karmic divine uh, masculine. Okay, so this is something that you got to do. What's the heart of the matter? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so what is um the heart of the matter's religious factors? Said that they came up earlier. Something about you habitually coming up with uh, and you saying, thinking the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, Excuse me. It's causing for you to have problems. It's stopping you to become truly divine at this point. Uh, and it's also affecting your spiritual past as far as you becoming into your divinity. You know you're moving in more into the energies of understanding that you... Uh, the soulmates, that there's somebody that's out there that's actually going to be able to unlock you, uh, that has the master key, that has the master lock to you. Uh, and it's going to help you to have that love flow and everything just kind of help you with that energies of going with the flow. You've got to start now coming into that energies and understanding the divine feminines that's in these situations uh, that, that, you know, is somebody really truly made, tailor made for you. Um, no matter what these family issues that's been brought up here about your lineage, uh, and that, and you following suit with whatever has been told to you family wise, you also, the heart of the matter is going on with you is that you got family issues again. Okay. Uh, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you've got some issues that you got to forgive with your parents. I did a whole series about um childhood wounds please go to my playlist on that uh, healing the inner child wounds if you need to do that because it seems like this is still something that is plaguing you uh as far as uh, why you're not being able to move on into your love life once you're able to handle that this is going to help to create some serendipitous events. Now, what I pick up with this is the serendipitous events that's going to help you to move out of that illusion, this moon energy here, and really say, okay, moving from that part of celebrating the bad things and really having something for you to really take introspection into your soul about. Uh, because right now, it's a bunch of chaos and conflict where you are. You're trying to go... And get some forward movement, but you can't do that because things are actually falling apart. And it's a desert. You really don't know how to really get out of that situation because you're not in your environment. You haven't seen any other kind of templates, any other kind of ways or demonstrations of love around you. So this is something extremely new to you. And this is why you got to start healing some of the family issues because some of the family issues that shown to you showed you the incorrect way of loving. Okay? And this... Divine masculine karmic is mimicking this to you. And so this is what's kind of confusing you because they're helping to feed in that, um, say, that saga or that pattern. You moving into the energy, so kind of flirting with the idea of getting out of it. Because, again, you want something a little bit lighter. You know you're getting to this energy now that you're recognizing that right now being in this situation with this divine masculine karmic uh, is is kind of heavy, okay? Is 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 it is a heavy and it's a burden, okay? 
And so my thing is, is that now you saying you moving into the energies, understand that you no longer want to keep on bouncing around and see, but you want to actually, which is your emotions, and you actually want to have a um, certain directions as to where you want to actually go. Um, you also want to flirting with the idea and want to become more lighthearted and, and lessen of these burdens because right now something within you is telling you that you want to come to the edge on some things. And also no place like home because you know that really being with your true divine masculine, there's no place like home and you know wherever he is, he's kept the light on for you. That's in these karmic situations, okay? Um... Let's uh, move on to the shadows. What things are you hiding by being in this situation? Clear. And then we get to the divine master and karmics thing. Downcast pride. So something about this right now, being in this situation, you are going off an of ego and you are also feeling ashamed at it, being in it. That's why I was saying um, in that moon card that to me, it looked like false celebrations to me. You're celebrating things that really should not even really, to me, granted uh, to be celebrated on this one. Uh, you could also think about also, I know definitely in African-American cultures that when you have libations or drinks or alcohol, you use to pour that to the earth to give like uh, homage to your ancestors. This again, um, you kind of got it yourself grounded and rooted in these wrong ideologies of family and what family means. And you got to heal from that. It's making you have like an overactive crown chakra too. Uh, into this. It's interesting that the ears are excessively big. Which to be again is like what are you hearing? Look like you're taking in everything. But are you really taking it to the point that you're actually filtrating what things benefit you. And what really is going to keep you on the path or being with your divine counterpart. Okay. All right, so let's check in with this divine um, masculine karmic. What's the overall energy is dealing with him? You all in this karmic situation. Clear. Uh, two energies. Ooh, death. Good. And four swords. Okay, so right now we got a lot of conflict. That's why I said you got some vices. I wouldn't be surprised, Divine Feminine, if you're in here. Some kind of addictions or something. You're smoking, drinking, doing something that is also involved. Because this got you really worried. And you're kind of really trying to shield yourself from everything. Uh, the overall energy is right here with this is emotions coming off in this whole thing is it's got you all really uh, anxious. You got some anxiety. Would be surprised if you got some PTSD going on here uh, with this. And you're really trying to protect what you know, but what you know you don't really know uh, here. It's interesting she's in bed because probably a part of you want to really put this to rest. Too, that's the karmic energy that's here, you know. But uh, I, I picture she looks wide awake. So to me, I think some of you all is having some sleepless nights too about this. But at the end, the overall energy for this is that understanding death is. You got to begin something to end something. And so you really understand that it's got to be really a disconnect. Because I'm looking at this. Like they say, the thigh bone is connected to the knee bone, and knee bone is connected to the leg bone, and leg bone is connected to the ankle bone, and 
you know, and I'm looking at these hands. Interesting, you got these hands. These hands to be again is like really look like um things of the past. It's kind of keeping you down too. But again, like you say, you're looking for like a helping hand to really help you to understand how to get out of this situation. So the overall energies here is for us, it's been a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiousness, sleepless nights, picking up some vices that you shouldn't be. Uh, and this really um, also knowing that right now the overall energies there is death. It's, it's, it's time for it to come to an end. This is the overall energies is. What's going on with this, uh, according to you, what's going on with this um, divine feminine, this karmic uh, masculine, divine karmic masculine? What's going on with him according to what you see? inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly. That is an interesting choice of words. Why would you say that he's supernatural? I see a lot of fish, but it's interesting that these fish have a pattern of a butterfly. So fish to me is always food for thought. Prosperity, maybe also is finding himself um, transforming. Supernatural, maybe she feels like, again, when it comes to deal with him, it just seems like he's really kind of operated from a place that she's like, I can't really get rid of. Because he just looks like he's operating, like he just has these powers that I'm not really understanding. So, what do you mean by that? Let's see. So, we got wealthy man in reverse. So to me, wealthy man, when I look at this, I'm picking up and saying with this is like he's not really all that in the bag of chips like he thought he was. This divine um, karmic uh, masculine. Uh, he's not as high as you thought he was, too, as an honorable person. He is official, but he's not official to you. It's like this thing, a sense of family. I see a family room here. Um... Things are always nicely presented or put together when it comes to this masculine. But again, um, you're maturing and you kind of really seeing him for what he's actually bringing to the table. Uh, really, um, you really you're maturing. This calls you to a couple of times to raise your eyebrow about him. Some of the things that you're saying that he's doing is inexplicable. It's just like really, to me, that's in a nasty way. It's like I, I ain't even really understand and there's no explanation for this. And some of the things to me, what he does is just kind of like out of this world. It's not normal. But to you, you say sometimes you look at it and say, I just marvel at how things come together for him. Because I'll be shaking my head. Like, I, I don't know how the hell you pulled that off, but you did. Well, by him being divine, that would happen. Um, sudden wealth, uh, really in this situation, it's a sudden wealth. So this is what's also causing for this death to occur and happen. Because um, you got really a, a download, an outpouring from spirit or source bought you some things um maybe some new talent skills and abilities that came online 
for this divine masculine. It could go certain ways too. It could be saying also with this divine masculine, in some ways he's maturing in his emotions. And um, you kind of seeing it. He's moving into the energies of being a wealthy man and someone of high honor so he could be official. Right now, it's several layers to it too. This is a second layer, another layer, another scenario. He's moving into the energies of being a wealthy man. He's got high honors. And right now, whatever he's going through, even being with you, is caused him to become an official man. Uh, again, in you all's living situation, there's really nothing going on. It just looks very pretty. And um, this has caused him to also take introspection and look at himself in the emotions. And some things has caused him, too, to kind of raise his eyebrow. Um, he's gotten some downloads, some outpourings, some opportunities that have came to from source um, as well. What is, um, what kind of life changes are you all going through? What kind of life changes are you all going through? Religion and spirituality. I keep saying that. You all's belief systems is really going to be changed. Religion and spirituality. What you all think of all of the time and your spirituality. You all getting into your divinity. That's what the underlying thing is. Is changing for you all. Um, I didn't bring out the energy cards. Ouch. Uh. Excuse me. How's that look? Clear. She got a story. So, this is because now they want to make some caring connections with really their real one true love. Okay. Uh, you're getting root grounded and rooted, the both of you all, in something that's really more about what you all's desires and what you all want. Um, again, crown chakras, you and them have both have gotten some downloads. Uh, you got you moving into the energies, understanding you all have got to walk away. You had some anxiety that's been shown in several cards. You move it into the energies of having anxiety about this walk in the road. But you know at the same time, you got to have rest and rejuvenation. That could be also because, again, in this card that was showed here, this is the anxiety and not sleeping too as well. So you're going to need rest and rejuvenation before you probably make that decision. This is what I'm picking up and do that. And you got to work on this envy thing about each other. Um... I pick up envy is is that you thinking in some ways one I'm, I, they part of the thing one might be left behind uh and you got to look at the way of how you all are looking at things envy also is a way of how you direct your um perspective of things how you look at things too to me you know are you looking at it in a negative like uh the, and most time when people envy is like something that they think they can't obtain so instead of them pushing themselves to go ahead and get those things, they will go on ahead and like uh, become jealous or become envy because they think that's something that they could never obtain. This is what I'm picking up from this too. You know, you're looking on the grass is greener on the other side. Uh, those are the things that you've got to really um, deal with as well. I'm also picking up that some people might be envious of you all and the families that you all did. That's like, dag, I've always wanted to do that. And I decided not to. What was that one? Oh, I think about officers and gentlemen at the end. 
and Deborah Winger, her role, and the other young man, her guy that she was dating, killed himself. And she was talking all bad about the role or the the character of Richard Gere played. And at the end, he comes and sweep Debbie Winger off of her feet, and then she's cheering for it. So, again, there might be some people in your family that really have been talking about you all bad, and I've been cheering for this coming together with you and leaving this um, divine masculine for your true uh, divine masculine. Uh, and this is something that's um, being shown that you got to watch some other people on the outside. And then... From there on, you're going to move into your abundance, blossoming abundance, okay? Where you truly are supposed to be. That's for both of you all once you all decide to get out of this situation. Your your abundance will start to blossom. It'll start to bloom, okay? What things do you all have to surrender? Clear. Surrender unhealthy relationships. We know this. This is un this is not healthy. This is extremely toxic because it brings on so many addictions and nervousness and anxiety. Uh, on you all's part with this. Uh, so again, let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. This right here. And then surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifested fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. We know that um, being patient means just go ahead and do what you need to do and let the universe go ahead and take care of the rest, okay? So that's that's um, what that means. What is the energies that they are moving you all towards? Clear. Victory, okay? Six of Wands, that's why I call it the victory card. Okay, so really in you all's emotions, being able to stand alone, to be independent, not codependent upon somebody else's um, feelings. You applaud, learn how to applaud yourself. Maybe some family members will also be able to start to applaud you too because, again, you cleared the family ties as well. Um... And that's what I'm picking up from that is that you helping to clear some things and you will be victorious in doing that. Clear. Um, how does this look? How does this victory look? That in your mind, you all are going ahead and saying, let's go ahead and take the journey, packing up your bags. Actually, go on twin flame journey. You all have an envision as to what you see, what you actually want to happen, and see in you all's relationship. You got the vision. You probably been daydreaming on it as well. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, uh, feminines, you're going to get a message that's going to be concerning. Uh, there might be a message from spirit or it might be even a message in 3D, some form of communication to you that's going to really get you, touch your heart or get your heart chakra going and saying, okay, maybe I need to kind of get to rolling. It could be a message from your divine masculine uh, that at that point you're going to feel like uh, emotionally you're going to have to start working, working kind of quietly behind the scenes, getting things ready, getting together. Uh, however, you're going to be flexible with the moment, but however, at the same time, you know, you got to get the wheels a turning for this change. And then you're going to have this sense of community, which means coming together with your divine um, counterpart or either getting with 
uh, the Twin Flame community, a support system, a soul family that really kind of supports you uh, where you are. So that's exactly how this is going to be looking. Or this is you and your divine counterpart with you all making a family. If you all have, they have families or um, daughter or son or vice versa. This is what's going to, energy you're going to move into. All right then, beautiful, did excellent job. So this is the end of this. Um, Join us tonight as we go live, 5.30 um, p.m. Um, Central Time and 6.30 um, Eastern Standard Time, uh, 12.30 for Hawaiian Standard Time, which um, with the playground experience, what we're going to call it, playing in the sandbox time, where we just do Q&A, talk about things like currently what's going on in the... Um, in the twin flame community what questions that you might have of us so just make sure you just and we're just gonna have a good time just kind of like just being so if you got any um if you don't have anything to do come and join us and play in the sandbox with us uh for our live q a here on divine union souls 11 all right as always stay uplifted stay motivated stay ascended namaste i'm gonna go love you